Bloating Around Ovulation A large majority of women endure bloating during or after their monthly ovulation cycle. It's that uncomfortable tightness in your midsection, suddenly making it tough to fit into your favorite jeans. Often, bloating is felt around the time of ovulation or menstruation. It can cause some mild to moderate discomfort as well. Who is to blame? The hormones. What is ovulation? It is a normal physiological process where every month, an egg is released from the ovary. The date of ovulation varies based on one's menstrual cycle. What is bloating? It is a feeling of fullness in the mid-abdomen that can be uncomfortable as well as painful at times. Bloating can be linked with gas too. On touching, the abdomen may feel firm and swollen. Sometimes this feeling can be from bloating and water retention. Bloating feels like increased abdominal pressure and a feeling of being gassy. Water retention on the other hand, gives a feeling of heaviness. What causes the bloating? If one feels bloated during various phases of menstruation, the hormones are to be blamed. With some women, certain food items can also cause bloating. Is bloating during ovulation normal? It is quite common to feel bloated during ovulation. Ovulation is one such time of the menstrual cycle with an interplay of many hormones. Just before ovulation, there is a spike in the estrogen and luteinizing hormone. This can directly cause bloating. How long does an ovulation bloating last? Bloating usually starts during ovulation days and it can be different for each woman. For some, it can happen on the day prior to ovulation. For others, it might start right from ovulation and last till their next menstrual cycle. When should bloating be taken seriously? Bloating usually should subside after the ovulation. But it can be persistent in certain medical conditions such as polycystic ovarian syndrome and endometriosis. Here, bloating can even be an indicator of an underlying disease. How to differentiate between ovulation and premenstrual bloating? For one, their time of occurrence differs in a menstrual cycle. Ovulatory bloating occurs in the middle of a cycle whereas premenstrual bloating occurs towards the end of it. There could be other symptoms too, like lower abdominal cramps, mood swings and tender breasts. What makes bloating better? Since ovulatory bloating is a part of a woman's normal physiological cycles, it is not a cause of concern. One may have cravings during this period, but it is always safe to avoid salty and fried foods, as they might aggravate the symptoms. Can bloating after ovulation be a sign of pregnancy? Abdominal bloating is also a common finding in early pregnancy. Most often, this can be confused with ovulation and premenstrual bloating. But, a missed period is a bigger sign of pregnancy than just bloating. How is abdominal bloating managed? A slightly slowed down metabolism is the main reason behind bloating. Hence one can find ways to speed up their metabolism during those days. Try burning a few extra calories, and stay active. Try indulging in massage therapy or aromatherapy that can help you unwind. It is also important to keep stress at bay during this period. But on top of all, diet plays an important role in reducing and preventing bloating. It is important to avoid the oily, salty, and artificially sweetened foods. Including probiotics in the diet can be beneficial to some extent. Bloating is quite normal around the time of ovulation and typically not a cause for concern. However, if this seriously affects your routine, get it checked with your healthcare provider for expert management.